in this video i'll share 14 unique app you need to download for your mac and for the best part about this all apps are absolutely free for the first app, it's called Aldante, and this is one of the apps that everyone should download. So it, it is a battery management app, so it doesn't matter what device you have, like a iPhone, Android, or like a laptop, make sure you never charge your device 100%, because with that, if you charge your device 100%, it's gonna degrade your battery. With that, with that, it's gonna make your battery health much more worse. So but here, I set to 85% right here. So look at this, if I just go in the top right here and tap on the battery right here, even though it's plugged in, the battery is not charging because for the limit i set to 85 percent after that it's going to stop charging so even though it's plugged in look at it it's not charging over here if you just so if you just open up the app there's a, a ton of thing you can do but if you get the most out of this app you have to actually get the a pro version so even if your device is like a shutdown it's still for the limit it's not gonna a work if you get the pro version it's gonna work but if you get the a, a free version like me it's not gonna work but here for the limit you can actually do uh, low or high but what for me, I recommend go to like it 80 to 84 percent at the more at the most. So if you guys actually enjoyed this video, make sure you don't forget to click the red subscribe button. That's not it is absolutely free. For app number two, there's actually two apps. So for the first one is Beeper, and for the second one is Text. So whole point of this is to bring all the chat apps so like Instagram, iMessage, Messenger, Twitter, WhatsApp to into a one place. So it's gonna bring that into one place, and it's gonna make your life so much easier. So this is so this is how it looks. So only problem with the Beeper right now that you have to join the wireless buttons with text. It is absolutely free. But here. Everything, look at this format, I connect to Instagram right here. Every text, if you just tap on it, every text I'm gonna get from Instagram is gonna show up right here. And over here, I get iMessage, I got a single, and all of this. So all I have to do is just tap on it, and then tap on connect once. So if you just connect to that account once, and that's it. But I think that is not even the best part. If you just open it up, I can actually log this by using Touch ID or Passcode. So anytime you finally get into this, I have to use my Touch ID. So that is actually pretty safe. So for app number three, it's called Bear Warden. So it's one of the password managers. So still, if you're not using password manager, I highly recommend using one. So that's not uh, only thing I like about this Bear Warden. So it is absolutely free. If you want to get the pro version, there's zero point of getting it. With this, everything in it is a password manager for individual or families, everything you need. So this is the app that I actually use on my iPhone and also on my laptop right here. So it is actually pretty safe because it is actually open source and you can log into unlimited device. And for the best part about this is that you can just download from your app store right here. Then it's going to make your all the password is going to be encrypted and it's going to make your life so much easier. And then over here, if you actually use browser, is something called autofill. So automatically it's going to fulfill your password and also your email. So you can actually get extension for your browser, so any browser you want. So you can get it for Safari, you can get it for Google Chrome, you can get it for Brave. So this is the app that everyone should get. App number four is the Diffusion B. So this is actually a AI app. So this you can actually generate any AI image. But the best part about this, this does not require any Wi-Fi. So it, it's gonna do it locally it, to your any Mac you want. But things with this, but best part about this, that if you're talking about Open AI or like a, a Dali, you have to pay for it. But this app is absolutely free. So let's say I actually put this pump right here and then click on generate. So you can do a text image, you can do image to image, there's the other stuff you can do. But here, after you tap that, it's gonna uh, record time. So over here, just depend on the size. So but look at this, for this, it's gonna do it within like 30 seconds. So, so let's just give, give that time. Only drawback to this app that it is actually not like a fully like a dolly quality, but things it is actually pretty good. So this is the image it, it generated. Look at this. It, it actually looked pretty good to do it locally. Then if you download it right here, you can just right click and then you can just save this to your download folder. As simple as that. So for number five is going to be alpha and it's one of the smaller alternatives. Just for the smaller is decent it can get the job done but things with the app like alpha it actually gonna take that to the whole new level so all the basic stuff so if you open up the app you don't have to type in the full name so just type in the first letter tap on enter and then it's gonna open up the app so all the basic stuff it have it but if you actually open up the alpha and then tap on the features it can do all the stuff so let's go for the default one so it can open up folders it can do images it can open up contacts it can open up documents but things if you want to open up a file it's gonna open a file as well over here if you just in web search is going to open up the websites as well so if you into look for like a specific youtube video it can do that as well so look at this if you into just type in youtube if you want to say is that something on youtube you go on the second one and then you can do that as well so let's do mkbhd and tap on enter and then after that it's going to open up the default browser and then it's going to go to mkbhd's channel how cool is that 
for app number six is color monitor cutter so if you actually is external model like me and then if you need to control the brightness of that this is the app you need to download so it it is obviously free no, this is going to control the uh, brightness of the model it does it it's basic but it is actually get the job done for app number seven is called mackie and it's one a copy board organizer so look at this i i, I went to this website and then copy it by pressing command c but things now if you go to a different website and then click on command c and then now i just going to need new tab the only thing that's gonna paste is gonna be the last thing I co copy right here. But things with the copy board organizer like Mackie, everything I copy is gonna be saved right here. So the as the so this is the thing I copied two times ago. So if I just tap on that, it's gonna get copy again. So now I can just click on Control V, and now it's gonna paste that. So what is everything you're gonna copy is gonna save right here. And then if you go down everything you copy is gonna be saved right here. So with the Mackie, it actually make your life so so much easier because everything you copy is gonna be saved. For app number eight, it's called Keychain. It's one of the app that everyone should download. So the whole point of this app, it, it has actually to bring all the shortcut you need to know for that app. So look at this. I open up a Notion calendar. And after that, I have to just hold the command for two seconds and it's going to bring all the shortcut I need to know for Notion Calendar right here. Everything, the shortcut is going to be right there. So now look at this. I open up like a different app, like I open up text and hold the command is going to show me all the uh, shortcut I need to know for text. So now let, let's say I open up Safari, hold the command right here is going to bring all the shortcut I need to know for a Safari. Then over here in the right here and corner, you can actually customize it. So for this, you can open up your setting. So for this, you have actually to open up the app right here. And then over here, if you just tap on my shortcut, you can actually have a custom shortcut. So with this custom shortcut, any shortcut that is not present and any shortcut that you actually want, it's gonna show up in the, it's gonna show up right here. So any shortcut that is not in the app that I actually needed, that is actually important to you, you can actually put it in the right hand corner. App number nine is called Rectangle and one of the app you need to download for to experience screen uh, like in many apps. So if you need to do your two apps, you can just do command left and it's gonna, this app gonna go to the left. Then over here, if you go on this app, just tap on command and right it is going to go to the right so the, it is going to be the your, your basic stuff but things if you want to do more you can do command and arrow up it's going to go or there it's going to go in the middle like when do command and arrow down it's going to go in the bottom hand corner so if you actually open up the app right here so all these are actually customizable so what if you just tap on it you can actually put your own shortcut there so you can do well, top left you can do top right you can do center half you can do center right what you can do top left you can do top right over here so everything that it shows right here you can actually do and you can do bottom right over here if you want if you want there's a, a, a like a more things you can do as well for app number 10 is called app cleaner so if you anytime if you're like a dealing app just putting the app in the task it actually does not delete the whole app sometimes all the file of the app is still there so that's how it works you have to drag a app right here then after that it's going to give it a few seconds and it's going to find all the files that is important right here after that you have to just tap on remove and boom just like that the beeper app is gone everything on that app every file that anything that is on the app is gone how cool is that but app number 11 is hilarious and this app have only one job to actually update all the apps so right here this app need to update it so over here it, it actually find all the update you need to do after that just tap on update like okay, sometimes it's going to do automatically if you set that up and after that just tap on it and after that it's going to do the update automatically so over here all the app that need to be updated is going to show up right here so other than just opening like app store or like you go to their website to update it it's going to do it automatically by using this one app App number two is called Alt Tab. So this actually brings from a Windows computer. So if you don't know, like on Mac, if you just hold the command and tab, only thing you can see is which app is actually open. So it doesn't show anything else. But things if if you actually download tab is called Alt Tab and hold the option and tab is gonna bring the same feature about from a Windows computer. So look at this. App cleaner is open and then that's what I was doing there for the application. It's just showing all the applications. So it just bring the it just copy and paste. It just copy paste the. Uh, Windows one to over here, so th th this is actually pretty useful. For app number thirteen is called Query Reader. So anytime you read an article like this one right here, if you just go down, look at this. There's an error right there. If I go down, there's another error right there. There's a pop up right here. But things with this app, it's called Query Reader. I, I can just click on this uh, shortcut right here, Command Shift and D, and after that, it's gonna open up the uh, Query Reader app. After that, look at this. Everything from their website, all the ads and stuff is gone. All the ads and pop up is gone. But since I can actually still read the article, I can look at the images. All the images is still here, and look how dope that looks. So, so with this, it actually make you uh, reading any article so much better. All the ads and pop up is gone.
App number 14 is called Numi, and this is the only calculator you need for all your MacBook right here. So if you need to do your basic calculation, you can do that as well. So over here, there's a multiplication. If you need to divide, you can do that as well. But I think that is not the best part. If you need to actually see the currency of different and uh, countries, you can do, do, do that as well. So let's do 100 euro in dollar. It's going to show in dollar. So so well, but things but things there's a ton of you can do so let's do 100 cm uh to um, a meter just tap in a meter and then it's going to convert to meter so this is the only calculator you need because it can do all the year basic stuff but it can do it can convert it can do any currency you want so this app will like a bunch of feature you can do if you guys actually enjoyed this video make sure you don't forget to click the subscribe button that's not it is absolutely free